Item Number, SCP-3992 Object Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-3992 are to be kept in a standard containment locker at Site-17. Description SCP-3992 is a number of children's Halloween face masks. Instances come in a range of designs, portraying various Halloween-themed monsters. Instances are constructed out of simple plastic materials, paint and string. Each instance bears a label reading Wondertainment Wacky Halloween Fun Masks on their interior. SCP-3992 instances do not display any anomalous properties when worn by a non-anomalous individual. However, when worn by an anomalous entity, it will appear to physically change into an adolescent humanoid of varying appearance. Any clothing worn by the wearer will appear to change into a costume fitting the SCP-3992 instance's appearance. Clothing will simply appear to manifest on entities not wearing anything. Anomalous entities wearing instances of SCP-3992 do not experience actual physical changes, instead appearing to have become humanoid. Changes to an entity's appearance in manifested clothing cannot be physically felt, and affected entities may continue to function and interact with their surroundings as normal. Effects will cease when an SCP-3992 instance is removed. The physical appearance gained by wearers vary between subjects, differing in skin color slash tone, hair, size, and gender. Discovery Log SCP-3992 was discovered on 24. 20. In a house in Wisconsin, United States. The house had been seized by the Foundation under suspicion of anomalous activity originating from it. Among SCP-3992, several other anomalous items were found, a majority of which were of Wondertainment origin. The previous residents of the house were found to have fled the area and remain unfound. SCP-3992 was located in a cardboard box in the house's attic among several Halloween decorations. As of note, the name Stanley was found written on the inside of SCP-3992-6. Vampire Mask Records show a child by the same name to have been one of the house's previous residents. The following document was found along with SCP-3992. To our most loyal of customers during this most spooky of seasons, we at Dr. Wondertainment would like to give to you a very special gift in accordance with the holidays. For your continued loyalty over the years, we would like to present a very special treat to those of you who might find it rather difficult to fit in. We at Wondertainment believe in embracing what others may consider strange and spooky. There are too many wonders in this world locked away by those who just don't understand or find the abnormal too scary. We know firsthand that it can be troublesome accepting who you are, especially in a world of the mundane, so we come with wonderful news, that for just one night, you may go out and celebrate the strange and the scary without worry of what others may think of you. For our customers out there who struggle with these feelings on a daily basis, we have decided to give you a special free of charge reward this Halloween. A little something to show our gratitude for your continued support. In this box, you will find a complete set of our new Wondertainment Wacky Halloween Fun Masks. Celebrate this Halloween with a costume so amazingly convincing you won't even be able to recognize yourself. Have fun out there kids. Try not to wander into any dark forest while trick or treating. And if you run into a headless fellow along the way, give him a good hello from us at Dr. Wondertainment. We miss you a lot old friend. We hope you're being taken good care of. Dr. Wondertainment Addendum 3992-1 Testing of SCP-3992 on several other SCP objects was suggested as a means of discovering the range of its effects when used on anomalous entities of varying physical nature. Approval of various SCP objects for testing was authorized. Access Testing Log Test 3992-1-002 Subject SCP-2006, taking the form of the creature from the haunted sea. SCP-3992 Instance SCP-3992-1, Werewolf Mask Results, SCP-2006 appeared as an adolescent male humanoid wearing a torn plaid shirt and jeans. A pair of rubber gloves resembling clawed hands with gray fur appeared on SCP-2006 hands. 
notes, SCP-2006 was asked to change its physical appearance during the test in order to see how the effects of SCP-3992 would react to SCP-2006 shape-changing abilities. Several changes to SCP-2006 size, skin tone and hair occurred but remained humanoid. SCP-2006 initially refused to remove SCP-3992-1 at first, but eventually complied once researchers assured it that it was nowhere near as scary as its previous form. Test 3992-2-001 Subject SCP-2662 SCP-3992 Instance SCP-3992-2 Which Mask Results, SCP-2662 took the form of an adolescent female. SCP-2662 appeared dressed in a black spider web themed witch costume, complete with a pointed witch hat and holding a broomstick, which disappeared along with the perceived effects of SCP-3992-2 when removed. To note is SCP-2662's appearance as a female rather than male. This is believed to have occurred due to SCP-3992-2 resembling a generic female witch. Notes, SCP-2662 commented on the whole physical change to be rather uncomfortable. SCP-2662 later assured that what it had stated previously was not meant in any way to come off as disrespectful or insensitive, stating it had nothing against females and that they could be cultists if they desired. Test. 3992-3-001 Subject, SCP-1279-1 SCP-3992 Instance, SCP-3992-3, Frankenstein's Monster Mask Results, instance of SCP-1279-1 appeared as a human male covered in green body paint, wearing a Frankenstein's Monster costume consisting of a black shirt and pants, torn gray coat and boots, with a pair of metal bolts protruding from its neck. Instance appeared standing upright on its perceived legs. Upon removal of SCP-1279 from the instance, SCP-3992-3's effects ceased. Notes. Interesting. 3992 must perceive 1279-1 as anomalous as long as it wears 1279. This may be the case when testing with other similar anomalies. Test. 3992-4-004 Subject, SCP-2980-1 SCP-3992 Instance, SCP-3992-4, Devil Mask Results, SCP-2980-1's physical age did not change. All abnormal features and body parts of SCP-2980-1 appeared to be replaced with pieces of costume clothing including a fake red tail and a pair of boots resembling cloven feet. SCP-2980-1 took the form of a human male of unknown race, coated in red body paint. Notes, SCP-2980-1 commented on the effects of SCP-3992-4 to be rather humorous, but was nothing compared to the real thing. SCP-2980-1 later claimed to recognize the name Wondertainment, when questioned, SCP-2980-1 stated that the name bared a striking resemblance to that of a cousin's three times removed. SCP-2980-1 did not give any other useful information. Test 3992-5-003 Subject, SCP-2287 SCP-3992 Instance, SCP-3992-5, Mummy Mask Results, SCP-2287 appeared no longer headless. SCP-2287 appeared as a bald human male. A pair of green pupils were visible through SCP-3992-5's eye holes. Inspection showed its Mr. Tattoo to no longer be present. No physical changes were present in the rest of SCP-2287's body as it had no other physical abnormalities. SCP-2287's clothing was replaced by layers of yellow-tinted linen cloth, wrapped around its entire body similar to an Egyptian mummy. Notes Of significant note, SCP-2287's anomalous properties ceased functioning while wearing SCP-3992-5.
whether this is due to it being a Wondertainment product is unknown. SCP-2287 commented on finding the mask fun to wear, saying that it was nice to see what it was like from the other end. SCP-2287 later asked if it were possible to wear SCP-3992-5, again at some point, decision currently pending. The effects of SCP-3992 may prove useful for the containment of SCP-2287's anomalous properties. Test 3992-6-009 Subject SCP-956 SCP-3992 Instance SCP-3992-6 Vampire Mask Results, SCP-956 appeared as an adolescent Caucasian female with long pink hair. Costume consisted of a black cape and pants and red velvet waistcoat. Notes, SCP-956 initially showed no signs of bodily movement, remaining in its passive state. However, after several seconds, SCP-956 visibly looked down at itself and began heavily retching. SCP-956 attempted to remove SCP-3992-6 with its perceived hands. When this failed, SCP-956 began clawing at SCP-3992-6 violently until it was removed by an assisting D-class. Addendum 3992-2 On the 29th of September 2000, a package was found outside of Site-17, addressed to the Foundation. Inside were a second set of SCP-3992. Instances consisted of a skeleton, jack-o'-lantern, banshee, zombie, and clown. The following note was included. To the SCP Foundation, we see that you've been playing around with our product and approve of it greatly. It's nice to see you giving others a taste of the holidays and we hope you're having fun with them yourselves. As a sign of gratitude for your vigorous testing of so many of our products, we present to you the newest batch of Wondertainment Wacky Halloween Fun Masks. The following set has not been officially released just yet, but we're hoping to get them out soon enough. We hope you'll share these with a few more of your guests and get some top-notch results. With all honesty though, we make these products because many don't get the chance to experience a proper childhood, or even celebrate such a unique time of year. So during that magical time when the mundane blend with the uncanny, we want to celebrate it right and give a little more. Cause that's what it's all about, right? Yours, Dr. Wondertainment.